Hi, this is Michael Bianconi from Southern Fire Guitars, and this video is going to be a show-and-tell video. I was going to do this video initially outside, but I don't know if you can hear it. It's raining, so I'm stuck in the shop for today. So what I'm going to show and tell is this right here, and this cigar box guitar was made, here's the date, 5-12-2018, and it was my number six guitar. Now this one I always kept because I just loved the box and I put these decorative uh, antique looking uh, corners on it. It's on a 23 inch scale. You can see I didn't really shape the neck well. It's kind of square looking. There was my headstock. Fancy. And it's a short headstock. I added this, uh, the Bob Wire brand on there probably a couple years after I actually made the guitar. And it's got a poplar neck and a poplar fretboard <laughs> stained with the solder mark burns there and there. And look at that little heel. Little bitty heel on there. And it was through the body design. I did like the way I did the rivets in the back though on the, uh, at the angle to match the end of the headstock there. Uh, it does have a piezo pickup inside under this bridge here. It has uh, bronze wound strings that have been on here since that date. I've never changed the strings on it. I played it quite a bit because you can see this decorative corner here is all rusty from my arm being there. I often wanted to change the strings but every time I picked it up and hit those strings I said it still sounds good I'm not changing them. <laughs> it doesn't have any volume knob on it it's just very plain and simple with a piezo pickup on there and I'm gonna play it a little bit for you so you can hear how it sounds. Here are the settings on the Vox Mini 5 Rhythm Amp. As you can see here, I have it set to the clean setting, and I have a little bit of reverb. And I'm also going to be using this cordless guitar receiver and transmitter. I'll leave a link in the description. Like I said, this thing is tuned to an open E. That's E, B, E.
that low E. Thanks for stopping by for my show and tell on my number six cigar box guitar from 2018. Now for one of my next builds I thought about doing something a little different. I found this tin at a flea market about two years ago and thought that would make a good guitar and never done anything with it. It's a little Jack Daniels tin. Let me open it up right here. And it is, let's see, it's about seven and a half inches long, about six inches wide, and probably around two and a quarter inches deep. Now, I've never made a guitar out of a tin before, so if you have any pointers or tips for me, please leave them down in the comments. I'd love to know some of your uh, suggestions. And I might even do a video of the building of the guitar made with this Jack Daniels tin. I could start off by saying, uh, I don't drink it, I just like to play with the tin. I'm not sure about that one. If you like these cigar box guitar videos and are afraid you might miss one, just click that little button down there that says subscribe and ring the bell. Then they will notify you every time I post a new video. You'll never be out of the loop. You'll be right there with us. And if you would like to help support this channel so more people can see it, give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment. From the backwoods, my name's Michael and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.